Hey, back today with some wax and other random tidbit empties. I want to go ahead and try and get it filmed a little bit more frequently so I don't have so much at one time. It gets a little bit overwhelming if you got too much going on at one time. So these are going to be my November 27th to my December 1st, or I'm sorry, December 2nd empties. Um, there's a lot of wax in here, but that's because they were half started. So I just wanted to get through them. Uh, first I have some wallflowers I did. Champagne toast, chateau champagne, wild berries, and sweet orange. This is actually throwing pretty well. Merry Mimosa, Sparkling Champagne, Red Apple Slices, and Ice Sugar Crystals. This one's throwing like a beast. Um, a random hand soap that I finally finished. Ice Guava Green Tea. And the scent notes are... Escape to Paradise with a blend of tropical papaya, guava, and coconut milk. Love this. Would repurchase if they brought this back for the upcoming spring season. I finished a snoozy sud from Barrett's. Um, it's a peppermint, lavender. Oh, I can't remember the other scent notes in it, actually. Let me see. Oh, toasted vanilla fluff, lavender, and peppermint. I've used like four or five of these. I love them. I love the way they smell. They really get you really relaxed for bedtime. Um, this lasts me about like two weeks. I try to use them up slowly because... I don't want it to be gone, but I have one more left. Mitt Madness by Dapper Datchums. A bright, refreshing combination of ginger, peppermint, spearmint, and fresh garden mint. This one was a nice blend. Rosemary Mint. This was very strong from Barrett's Wax Crafts. Love that one. Would definitely be purchased. Bewitched Berry. Blackberry, sweet apricot, mandarin, woody musk, cranberry, and spice. This was nice. I have one more of these, but it's not on, like, my high list to repurchase. It did throw pretty good, too. Destination Wax Zucchini Bread Cranberry. Lightly spiced uh, zucchini bread with tart cranberries. This was really beautiful. Her zucchini bread blends are to die for, and I love them, and we'll definitely restock up on them around probably, like, middle of next year if she has them available. Uh, super tarts. This is from the advent calendar. I'm allowed to post this now because it started yesterday, December 1st. So this is Wasau Orange Gingerbread Sugar Cookie. This is so beautiful. I posted on her group that she needs to make this into a clam, like a permanent clam. It's beautiful. I really get the orange and like a little slight cinnamon Note from the gingerbread. It's really, really good. Cherry Chip Cottage Cupcake. This was a sampler from Cottage Bay. Cottage Cupcake, Sweet Dark Cherry, and Hint of Cocoa. Oh my god. This was... like The sample was probably like... Yay big. This threw like a beast for hours. I'm telling you guys. Her bakery scents are so... Lovely. I would repurchase that one when she opens back up. I'm hoping to make... A order with her. She's been closed for a little bit. Blueberry Cotton Candy Bombshell. It's a sample by Designer Wax. This was really nice for bedtime. Clean Cotton Stainless Steel Fresh Mint and Peppermint Leaves. Love this blend. Would repurchase that even in a loaf. And I'm not a huge loaf person. Cider Lane Vanilla Crunch. Basically you get the Cider Lane mostly with that one. Oops. Um, did I throw that one in here? Looking for something that I meant to put in my empties bag, but I don't think I did. Um, I finished the Scented Squirrel Dark Diamond Amber Sandalwood Musk and Basil Sage Mint. This was a nice, um, bedtime blend. Malabar Coast. I melted this in my um, bathroom. Warm Spices Crushed Black Peppercorns. This is really, really beautiful. Strong blend. That would also be a good blender. Wicked Wax Sisters Overloaded Cotton Candy. Lemon Curd Serendipity and Cotton Candy. That was kind of a light thrower for me. Hocus Pocus Coffee to Focus Pumpkin Spice Latte Espresso Pumpkin Pie Spice and Whipped Cream. This was strong, but there was just something about it that I wasn't 
a huge fan of and I can't quite put my finger on it. I don't know if it might be her pumpkin spice latte scent. I don't know, but I would not repurchase that. Cinnamon raisin bread, warm raisin bread swirled with cinnamon right out of the oven. This was so good. Um, it threw for like 10 plus hours in my kitchen, even after the warmer was turned off. This is a very, very strong bakery from Destination Wax. You probably only need to cut it into a third and use it that way. Um, it smelled like... When I used to go to, like, these plays and stuff with my mom, like, when we go see the symphony and stuff like that, we would get the roasted, like, the, they have the hard shell coating on the outside of them, kind of like roasted nuts. Um, the sweet, like, almond, that's what these smell like, and it's really kind of like a nostalgic thing for me. Um... I would definitely repurchase this. It was a very beautiful scent. Um, very yummy, too. It made me crave food. <laughs> uh, pumpkin apple preserves. Fresh pumpkin and apple preserves in a light spice vanilla syrup. Um, this goes really good by itself. Like Some people I have seen, they mix it with stuff, but this is strong enough on its own. I like it by itself. I would definitely repurchase that. Two more. I finished, sorry, I have something on my hand, um, Killer Clowns by Super Tarts, Circus Concessions, Coconut Shavings, and Home Cooked Biscuits. This was so good, and I, I meant to write what Circus Concession is, but I think it's like a funnel cake, cotton candy, um, this is so good that when she had her... Cyber Monday order. I'm glad I melted this because when she had Cyber Monday where you could buy two clams and get one free, I actually think I picked up two or three more of the clams and killer clowns. This is really good. I actually probably would burn that, or I'm sorry, not burn, melt this all year round. It was really nice. And last but not least, mocha latte ice cream. This is fresh roasted Colombian coffee, perfectly blended with warm cinnamon, buttercream, vanilla ice cream, crushed almonds, and a hint of chocolate and cookie dough. Um, this is from Wax Incredibles. This is a really nice, strong coffee, like creamy coffee scent. Everything that I have tried from Wax Incredibles throws like a beast. I don't know why I haven't ordered from her again yet, but I might have to once I get my stash down a little bit. Um, her stuff throws like a beast. Very good. Um, you probably don't even, once again with this scent, you could probably use half and be fine. It's a very nice creamy coffee scent. So, that is my wax empties and little tidbits from November 27th to December 2nd. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!